Well, to discuss this uh, now, I'm joined in the studio by uh, Manuel Terradilos from our Spanish service. Uh, Manu, uh, massive security presence and you know so much anticipation generally in place for these types of matches, but tell us more about why this one is different. Buenas tardes, good afternoon, talks. Well, you said it, it's the biggest match in Spain. It's a match that gathers uh, about 600 million people in front of the TV worldwide to see it. So it's a really good opportunity for this pro-independence movement. What we're going to see is several protests, uh, more or less in points around this stadium. Uh, to disrupt, let's say, all the public that tries to go there, etc., etc., and that has prompted uh, some kind of answer from the authorities. We're going to have 3,000 um, units deployed. If we speak about policemen and private security combined, and also it already had an impact because we are going to see something that we had never been before: is that both Barcelona and Real Madrid they are going to gather at the same hotel separated, you know, different areas. They are going to gather at the same hotel and they are going to leave at the same time, so there is no problem and they can both arrive at the same time. Okay. Uh, is, the that, big is, question, is that sort of like a sign of solidarity as well or not? Well, it's probably basically because they want to be sure that both teams arrive. They want to do the same with the referees because uh, if they manage to do, uh, to have quite an impact in the match, then it will be a big message for the pro-independence uh, movement. The big thing is what's going to happen inside, that's what we don't know, because we know they plan to do some kind of action to, to show some kind of message but what happens in the stadium will be the important thing because there is where the viewers at home are going to see it worldwide. Indeed, well, it's such a divisive issue. Even some uh, Barcelona players, of course, have uh, expressed their uh, support for uh, Catalonia independence. Uh, we've seen recently a, bl a blockade between France and Spain. Is there any evidence that these demonstrations are actually having an effect? Well, it's a difficult time because uh, obviously it depends on who you ask, if there is fatigue or not, but there are a lot of things. Uh, we have the negotiations for a new government and obviously they couldn't uh, keep up with the rhythm they had before when we had this protest, we had all these riots. So what they do now, it's a slowdown, but take advantage of these big dates like El Clasico, like tomorrow we will know if, for example, Oriol Junqueras, what happens with him uh, and European justice. They have to take advantage of these things to try to keep it, you know, in the public agenda, especially internationally, at international level. OK, Manu, uh, thank you for joining me on that. Uh, very briefly, before we go, uh, who do you expect to win tonight? Well, I'm a Real Madrid fan, so I expect them to win. OK. We'll, we'll see, anyway. We will indeed. Well, thanks for joining me on that issue. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm afraid that's uh, all we have time for in this edition of Euronews Now. Thanks for joining us. We'll have more news throughout the day.